Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. It actually helps the channel quite a bit. And hit that notification bell so you know when I am going to do an update. Now, after some very nice weather yesterday, and then some not-so-nice weather uh, yesterday evening with some severe thunderstorms, well, winter is back. Kind of. I mean, look, it can be a lot worse in early March, but uh, certainly it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system after being around 70, 75 yesterday. We will be struggling in the 30s and 40s today. We have a strong northwesterly wind behind our cold front with a few flurries up here in the Poconos and Catskills. Nothing too crazy. Winds are from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour with higher gusts. And we have temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 30s over the higher elevations, upper 30s to lower 40s in your suburbs, lower to mid 40s in your urban areas. Taking a look at the radar and surface map, there's our cold front off the coast. And this is all via lake effect snow and lake enhancement. This won't be reaching the coastal area in any way, shape, or form. But those of you in the Poconos and Catskills, well, you got a few snow showers to contend with this morning that will continue on through the early afternoon and then start to collapse. Not looking for much in the way of accumulation, but uh, just be aware of that on the roadways up here. Now, when we take a look at our latest infrared satellite picture, or should I say the uh, visible satellite picture, you can see that cold air transport coming right off of the Great Lakes here, and that's how you get your snow showers. But also notice some mid-level clouds already lifting northward. Something is brewing, and that something is out here. You see, your cold front is dropped south, right? And then it stalls out. Why? Because of this high pressure system right here. So it kind of hits a roadblock. Meanwhile, you get this right here starting to develop. This is an air shortwave in the subtropical jet stream. So you have the polar jet stream and the subtropical jet stream. Usually the subtropical jet stream gives you all your moisture. So what you have here is an area of low pressure starting to get its act together and some marginally cold air building into the northern mid-atlantic and when these two interact well some mischief can occur and that is exactly what we're going to be watching out for for tomorrow with the threat for a wintry mix throughout the region more so over the interior in terms of accumulation as we go on through the day so let's dive into this forecast for today high pressure builds in look for Sky cloud covered and clear skies with temperatures rising slightly into the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior and mid to upper 40s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, high pressure will be in control with light and variable winds, but that high pressure system will be departing, thus leading to easterly winds developing by the time we get to the early morning hours. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 30s over the interior mid to upper 30s along the coast and that sets up our next precipitation event this low pressure system will be marching its way through throughout the day tomorrow for the coastal plain this is pretty much just rain snow no real accumulation but for those of you in the northern interior especially the poconos northern new jersey uh, the hudson river valley connecticut this is where you can get some snowfall and so we have an impact map just up right here and here is what we're expecting for tomorrow again looking at impacts from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow now you're going to see snow in the New York City and Philadelphia metro problem is that your surface temperatures when it is snowing is going to be around 35 to 36 degrees so it's going to be very difficult for you to see snow accumulation especially on pavement maybe on some car tops and grass so that all that scenario is also playing out for the interior locations as well as temperatures are going to be very marginal here okay you're looking at high temperatures during the day ranging from the mid 30s over the interior to the lower 40s along the coast so 35 to 42 let's say right around that range and so as a result it's going to be difficult to get snow accumulation for a lot of locations but if i'm going to look for two to five inches of snow you're going to look at zone one highly elevation dependent that means the higher you are in elevation the more likely you're going to see closer to that five inches rather than that two inches and in terms of accumulation in, on the roadways a slushy one or two inches on the roadways if you have treatment probably even less than that 
but if you're looking at the grass, that's where you'll see your two to five inches over this region here. In zone two, one to three inches on the grass, a trace to an inch on the roadways. Zone three is pretty much I-95 corridor, a trace to an inch of snow on your car tops, grass, bushes, trace if that on the roadways, and then zone four is just wet. So that exits the region by the evening hours and by the time we get to thursday high pressure will be in control with clear skies look for low temperatures in the mid 20s over the interior to the upper 30s along the coast high temperatures on thursday will range from the lower 40s over the interior and mid mid 40s over along the immediate coast and upper 40s to lower 50s in the delaware river valley on friday high pressure will again slowly exit the region with more of a southerly wind taking shape low temperatures range from the lower 20s over the interior to the upper 20s along the coast high temperatures will range from the lower 50s over the interior to the upper 50s maybe even a few 60s along the coast and then we're watching out for saturday now this looks a little bit interesting but i'm going to give you a bit of a caveat a little bit of a meteorological a clue here Usually when you get these low pressure systems developing over frontal boundaries and you see what we call anafront precipitation, nine times out of ten, it doesn't actually pan out the way you're seeing it four or five days out. And that's because you're dealing with the factor of, okay, you have this low pressure system coming in, cold air, but also dry air at the same time. And then the backside of this precipitation shield is not as impressive as what we're seeing here. So, yes, Saturday is going to be a stormy day. Okay, you're going to see rain, probably ending as snow. It's going to be one of those days where your high temperatures are going to be in the morning, ranging from the lower 50, lower 30s to lower 50s from the interior to the coast, but then falling throughout the day, and you'll see a wintry mix going over to snow. But for how long that lasts and how vigorous this low pressure system is, which again looks a little bit strong out here. Uh, there's a lot of details so uh, i know that there's snow maps already floating around i kind of chill on that and uh wait until we get a little bit more details on this threat but if you have plans for saturday it's not going to be pretty out there that is one one thing for sure you're either dealing with quite a bit of rainfall all day ending of snow or if you're in the interior more likely the pokemon and cat skills pretty good amount of snow so we'll keep an eye on that on Sunday, high pressure builds in with clear skies. Look for low temperatures in the single digits over the interior, upper teens along the coast. High temperatures are going to range from the mid-20s over the interior to the mid-30s along the coast. On Monday, though, we rebound pretty quickly. With high pressure pushing off the coast, look for a southerly wind. With low temperatures in the lower 20s over the interior to the upper 20s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid-40s over the interior to mid-50s along the coast. And on Tuesday, look for a weak trough to pass through with an isolated shower. Other than that, look for sky cloud cover with low temperatures in the mid-30s over the interior to the lower 40s along the coast and high temperatures in the upper 40s over the interior to the lower 60s along the coast. So an active weather pattern once again, but it looks like next week is going to be a little bit more quiet. So just got to get through Saturday. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.